Hi there. Welcome to my channel. Story time with Chet Dali. These are some of the books my child loves to read. I hope you enjoy too. Today we will be reading Herbie's Big Adventure by Jenny Po. The big day is here. It's time for Herbie the hedgehog to go on his first adventure. But is he ready? Herbie discovers that with a little imagination, he's got all the courage he needs to face the big, wide world. How is big a water? Herbie was born in the late summer, just as the first autumn leaves were beginning to flutter down in the forest. Mommy! Herbie exclaimed when he opened his eyes. Hello, Herbie, his mother said gently. Herbie snuggled into her arms. It felt just right. Soon, Herbie began to play games. He burrowed in a secret cave. He tumbled in a tickly jungle and went roly-poly down a steep mountain. Whee! Herbie was growing very fast. Day by day, the little hedgehog was becoming a big hedgehog. One day, his mother shared some exciting news. Herbie, she said, you're nearly ready for your first foraging adventure. Foraging? Herbie asked. To go exploring and find good things to eat, she explained. Herbie was surprised. But mommy, I am not ready. I am just a little hedgehog. Herbie, you are ready. You can burrow and tumble and sniff. You will go out and explore. Come back to me when your adventure is done. Soon enough, the big day arrived. Good luck, have fun, his mother called out. Herbie shivered and took a brave step into the world. Before he knew it, he was swept up by a whirling westerly wind. Whoosh! Herbie twisted and twirled and landed in a crisp pile of leaves. Crunch! He quickly began rummaging for things to eat. What was I worried about? He wondered. Foraging is fun. Herbie nibbled on an apple core and felt that everything was just right. Just as Herbie was about to dig a little deeper, another swift wind blew into the forest. Herbie held tightly to a little brown leaf. The wind carried Herbie and his little brown leaf in a new direction. Herbie closed his eyes as the air swirled him round and round. Herbie landed with a poof. Brrr. He began to burrow upwards and opened his eyes. Everything twinkled and glistened. Herbie was chilly and damp. He looked at the little leaf that had carried him so far. An idea began to form. Ta-da! Herbie's little leaf became a hat. Herbie climbed his way to the very top of the world. He was getting sleepy and wanted to snuggle down for a nap. But where? He tried nestling with a prickly relative and squeezed into a pocket of a troll and burrowing under an owl's wing. But as hard as he tried, Herbie couldn't find anywhere to sleep that was as cozy as his mother's arms. Then Herbie saw a mysterious shape. As he crept closer and closer, the shape got bigger and bigger until 
Herbie found himself standing in the shadow of a great mother snow bear. I am Herbie, the hedgehog said bravely. I have been foraging all day and now I am looking for a place to rest. I am cold and sleepy. A small breeze blew and Herbie saw the great bear nod and open her arms. Herbie scurried into them. The kind snow bear held the little hedgehog warmly. It felt just right and Herbie fell asleep. Herbie slept soundly all night. In the morning, he felt better. Thank you, snow bear, Herbie said and tumbled out of her arms. At that moment, an enormous easterly wind whistled all around him. Whoosh! The wind blew him all the way back home. I just knew you would be home today, Herbie, his mother said. You were right, Mommy, said Herbie. I was ready for a big adventure. But now, being home with you feels just right. The end. I hope you liked the book as much as I love reading it. See you in the next book. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe.